There's not. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. Good. I don't care. She I don't care. You said talk. What did you do? Don't do something with it. Angela, Angela, Angela. The private investigator came. Mm -hmm. He had 180 pages of nothing. Mm -hmm. She didn't care. Mm -hmm. She made an excuse. Oh, it's, it's not enough time. It's not enough time. It was only a two week thing. It was like 160 pages. Yeah. And all that stuff. And he even told Skylar, you know, I didn't find anything. Michael's whole life. Christ, his whole life, no scamming, no cheating. But she is still so hell bent on thinking that, oh, there's something no going on. Why. The reason why I think Angela is trying so hard to find something against Michael, because then she thinks in her messed up mind yeah. that it will justify all of her abuse. Yes. So she sees that people have been attacking her and all this stuff. At this yeah. point, I don't even think that she is with Michael because she loves him, mm -hmm. but she wants, she wants that to be right. She wants to be right. Mm -hmm. She wants somebody to inflict her pain on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, it just seems as if she's just trying to... What's the word? She's just trying to justify everything that she's done. Because right now, if Michael leaves her, it's like everybody's applauding him. But she yeah. wants to stay long enough so that she can be justified in her actions so that people will get back on her side. Yeah. But that's never going to happen because there's no excuse mm -hmm. for you abusing somebody the way that you have been abusing him. Yeah. And then talking down to him. Like, yeah. even Colby said it. Like, you have disrespected him so much that even a fly can't even respect him. Like, it's just it's so bad. And, like... At this point, yeah. the best thing for you to do is to leave him alone. Yeah. Let this man be free. She wouldn't. She no, wouldn't. but she needs to go get therapy. Like, you need to go get help. The only way, because honestly, I do think that I, she doesn't strike me as one of those people that doesn't care about people's um, opinions. I think she really does care about it and it affects her. And she doesn't like the fact that everybody's on Michael's side. That's why she's sitting down here having her fake dry tears and all this stuff and it's going off and she's trying to even say try to tell jasmine oh the girl that michael was with um she tried to get with gina and all this stuff and da 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 trying so hard to oh, people on was, her side i know she's so cringe it was so pathetic to at the end you know it was really pathetic and now she's like oh i know he's lying i know this mother effort no you she don't even just... know him you don't even know yourself yeah like you and you're like not self-aware you know what's yeah. so bad like somebody who's pushing a hundred and they just like they're not self-aware she, she looks it she looks you know i saw a woman who was 102 i think i sent you some really beautiful things that she said um angela looks older than that than, than that woman and this woman was 102. angela looks older than this woman oh i tell you i mean if there was an ad that says not to smoke and also not to be bitter in this life and also to go on this journey of self earlier put angela's face there that's like an ad that people okay i really gotta get myself together before i start looking really bad oh man I mean, I felt when I. When I didn't feel you, bad for her at all. As she sat down there with her fake tears, like I'm just like, give yeah. me a break, like shut up, like nobody cares about. Oh my God, he's scamming me, like. And then it's hope that like I remember you was talking about telling Faiz like oh but yes you saved money with him but you did but you told him right you explained to him Michael explained the whole chat you just didn't listen. I know. It's so. And the Annoying. woman was just thanking him. She has turned it into a whole cheating thing. And, and the thing like, is, she goes out there flirting with any man that she sees, Angela. If Michael did that, she would probably try to oh kill him goodness. in the sleep. I mean, really. It's so, like she feels so entitled to like... Abuse somebody. Yeah, and have this total control over him. His social media, she has control over that. Um, and I don't, I don't think, even think he has a phone anymore. 
And she just says some really weird things. Like, it just gives me really racist tendencies, yeah. especially towards Absolutely. black women and Absolutely. Nigerian women. Absolutely. Especially the way she came for it, Ashley. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just, I don't think she is somebody that I like. like oh, she's did she one come of those, for Ashley? Well, she did, because Ashley was telling him, because he kept on saying, you know, you're with a white woman and all this stuff and everything. And she said, which I do agree, I don't think he meant it to be offensive. Um, yeah. But, and, but, um, was it she said that oh he wasn't trying to be offensive it's just like i am talking to him thank you like she like because it actually intervened twice to tell her that he didn't mean it offensively when he said that or right. whatever and angela kept on coming at her or whatever and stuff um actually, she just tried to actually ashley was just all in the different soups <laughs> actually, actually you got your own problems you can be a little fake <laughs> i'm not gonna lie because she was really flip-flopping oh if ashley um was if sophie wants to work in her marriage she need to get her ass home oh hi sophie i was like really <laughs> but really? they all do that they are all gossiping about each other everyone's relationship is more is like the worst you know even though i have problems with gino but i'm like jasmine please don't okay i mean i may have problems with manuel like just all of you all are messed up okay in your own different ways yes and they all Every don't need to be together the don't only be one that i will say seems to be somewhat decent like they seem to have come to some kind of compromising is emily and goldie I would say Lauren and Alex. <laughs> no, not Alex. Mm -mm. Giving her all them babies. Don't want to help out. Having a fit. Oh, yeah. Of where she wants to go. Uh uh. Alex is Patrick another and Thais? little. Mm. Um, what about Patrick and Thais? Yeah, I think so. He's yeah, I think so. To yeah, I, I think so. They're, they're both striving to compromise with each other. I mean, because he's considering moving to Brazil so that they can have more kids. Because she said she don't want more kids and she ain't got no help. I don't blame her. You know, when you're used to staying years. outside of America. Yes. <laughs> I think. And you have grown up someplace else right. outside of America where they the help important. is there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even people who are not your family, there's a sense of community, community, your neighbor, right? Yeah. And you get so much more help. You're not willing, really, to <laughs> raise young struggling. children in America when you can just go to Brazil and far from U.S. Yeah. When I can just hopscotch over there and have my family around me. Have my help. And I can still go and, you know, take care of myself and exercise. Yeah. And I still have a social life. Like, I can go talk to my friends. So that helps with any postpartum depression. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. It makes sense. You it's know? Just, it's, there's not really a lot of help. And the, and the thing is, it's not because, you know, some people are family-oriented in the U.S. But you're so busy, you're busy. trying to make you're busy. money. It's not that people or, don't want to. You see how people came together during COVID when, you know, things were shut down and stuff like that. People want to have help. People want to be with their families. You don't have time. You don't have time because you're here paying like three thousand dollar rent, and the you're system. paying twenty dollars for eggs, and then it's like you have to pay all this money for health insurance. Yeah. I saw and the on, system is worse now. It's worse. The economy you know, is in the gutter. The system like, is even worse now. So he, it's kind of like I ain't got time to help you. Just, you. you have, you have, yeah. You, it's I all have, about yeah. you. You get so in your own little world because yeah. there's a a consistent fighting for. For just the basics, just and it's so unfair. It's almost, you know, sometimes I feel like the, and I don't know who to blame, um, but they, I think it's done on purpose to keep people busy so that you are not really paying attention to what's going on, around you know, you. those in power trying to control you, you know? and control like you're not aware of what's going on you know i remember like when i was working my two full-time jobs like i did not even know what was being done on youtube 
Like, yeah, I, like I did not watch YouTube until after, actually until years after I retired. Yeah. I, I think it was like at least a couple of years before I was, you know, looking at YouTube. And then because I homeschool too, the only time I will turn on the cable will be during the summer um, when the NBA, like the finals were coming, I had to watch my NBA. Yeah. Um, but you don't have time. I don't think people even have time to watch the news. No. You don't have time. And then when you do watch the news, you either watch either CNN or a quick MSNBC, but just maybe an hour or two of that and that's it. Like you just don't have time or you watch like a sitcom you know, but you just don't have time outside of an hour. I mean, are you guys who are working, finding the same thing? I didn't have time to watch shows and stuff until COVID. Yeah. And COVID happened. When COVID happened, um, that's really when I think I had time. That's when I started to look at. I retired in 2018. So when COVID happened 2020, that's when I started having time to you know then i then i you know discovered youtube yeah i was like oh my god they have all these things i can learn about on youtube you can even watch the news on that that was so exciting now yeah. i just love youtube now i'm like a youtube addict she's the one we even what am I so that we get on youtube and we start talking it was actually your idea i was like i was like youtube like what, 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 what people are doing on youtube <laughs> you suggested that no it was you you <laughs> said you wanted me to Give advice to women. Yeah, but you have been talking to me about it, and I was like, oh, you know, we could, we should oh, do a channel, channel where channel. you should advise women and yeah. stuff because you are yeah. made at it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, y'all, Angela, just yeah. bring back to Angela. She actually needs help, and she needs to sit down with herself and try to get aware. I but I don't think so. Pe we're I'm talking sorry. about guys. People That's who are about. over seventy don't start changing now, and she ain't going. She's change. in her fifties. She's Angela is in her fifties. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm older than Angela. You couldn't tell. Angela just looks so old and she's so bitter. Oh, man. You know, when I looked at her, though, I mean, from one elder to another, right? Honestly, when this stuff, when I saw how totally she was just floundering around and I was watching her and I just thought to myself, this is why... It kind of made me scared a little bit and I just felt like maybe this is why you don't start a relationship when you're older because when it doesn't work out I think it affects you even more uh, I'm not saying I'm feeling sorry for her she just seemed so yes she's very irrational she's abusive but she knows Probably she can't get nobody else because this is us she knows she can't get nobody else because of how her behavior is on TV. And she's trying um, to justify that all the abuse she's done is right. Yeah. Even when Kobe confronted her, I just, that's your opinion? Yeah. No, no, Heffa. We, it makes we've seen me so it on scared. TV. Let we've me tell seen you. the abuse on TV. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. I and you know. can look through the seasons and see that you've been abusing somebody. It makes me so scared <laughs> to be in a relationship. I think no, I stand by my actually, damn self. You're actually a catch. She is not. She is no, the I'm catch that saying, you throw I think back that in the ocean. If a relationship doesn't work, and you are in your 50s. Don't carry that energy on. Please like, don't. You guys are not in the same damn. place. I, I don't know. Because I have actually seen it too. I mean, before I was in my 50s, like I had friends. I've always had older friends. I had friends who were in their 50s. And then these relationships will not work out. Now I kind of understand why they were so broken. We right? got trust in God because if I you know. know that you are meant to be with somebody and God has somebody out there for you, you, you rest in that. It's not easy to be patient. That is because a men, death. I mean, I don't know. I think maybe but it just sends you off the deep end. That's what I think. People need to be having more faith because if one door closes, another one is open. You yeah. shouldn't settle. Anyway, I want to talk about it later, but you shouldn't settle. Just because you're older. Like, yeah. don't act like you want to die tomorrow and there's no other fish in the sea. Angela knows she can't get another man because all this is on TV. That's why she is sticking it with oh, Michael okay. so but that she, she can just, so that she can rewrite her narrative. Mm, but this yeah. is years of abuse. Even when you were 
heavy or set, you were throwing pies in this man's face. Yeah. And she didn't mm -hmm. just become evil when she got skinny. Yeah. She's been yeah. evil the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And has had such serious racist tendencies. So it's on TV. She knows she ain't get another man. That's why she wanted to try to hold Michael down. But Michael has um, freed himself from the chains of Angela, rightfully so. Is and I, God. And I heard he won a lawsuit or something, which we'll talk about that later when wow. I get more information. Yeah. But that man not getting deported. You might go to jail yeah, for abuse, I, though. I know. <laughs> Below, let us know how you guys are doing in America. Um, and then also let us know how do you feel about yeah. dating in your 50s? Is it scary? Yeah, drop it down below, y'all. But we love y'all, and we'll see you guys on the next video.